Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet. It says that six friends, Lake, Ishmi, Tej, Moksh, Uday and Sahil purchased some chocolates for their cousins. And there were nine different types of chocolates. The price of each unit of these chocolates is given to us. And we are also given some information about the number of chocolates they purchased and their expenses. Okay. So we are given that Lake purchased three chocolates. Uday and Sahil five chocolates and the rest purchased four chocolates each. So let us write their names Lake, Ishmeet, Tej, Moksh, Uday and Sahil. So Lake purchased three, these two purchased five and the rest purchased four chocolates each. Okay. Uh, then we are given that no friend bought more than one unit of each of the chocolates. So that means uh, they spent distinct they purchase distinct chocolates, like all of them. So if they are buying three, four or five, they will buy different, different chocolates. The amount spent by Uday was twice the amount spent by Sahil. So suppose Sahil spent X rupees. So Uday spent two X. Uday purchased both the cheapest as well as the costliest chocolates. So Uday purchased 10 rupee chocolate also and 140 rupee chocolate also. The amount spent by Moksh was average of the amount spent by Uday and Sahil. So uh, this is x and 2x. So this is 1.5x. One of the chocolates purchased by Moksh was priced at rupees 110. So this one chocolate is 110 rupees. The amount spent by Lake was 200. So Lake spent 200, which was not less than the amount spent by Sahil. So Sahil can spend maximum 200. Lake did not purchase the costliest chocolate. Fine. The amount spent by each of Ishmeet and Tej was less than the amount spent by Moksh. Two units of each were purchased of the chocolates that were priced 10, 40 and 60. So that means 10, 40 and 60, only two of these chocolates were purchased by these friends altogether. Okay. So uh, now how to crack this is, uh, see for 200 we will get too many combinations we do not know the amount spent by them okay so for 200 we can get multiple combinations what we should do here is there is a constraint given to us that Sahil can spend maximum 200 chocolates and we need to think that Sahil has purchased 5 chocolates so there are very few possibilities for Sahil right because he is spending less like a small amount and he is pur purchasing more chocolates. So let us look for the smallest five values 10, 20, 40, 60, 70. Okay. So 30, 70, uh, 130, and 200. Okay. So this turns out to be 200. So he cannot spend more than 200. So he can spend maximum this only. So the chocolates that he purchased are of 10, 20, 40, 60, and 70. Now, if he spent these much, so this means this is 200, his expenditure is 200. Now we can get the expenditure of uh, Uday and Moksh also. Uday will spend 400, Moksh will spend 300. And these two will spend less than 300, that is given to us. Now what we are left with is, we have to find the expenses of Lake, we have to find for Moksh, we have to find for Uday, okay. So Lake, Uday, Moksh, we need to find their expenses. Okay, uh, because that are the only one that we can still find out. We need to find their combinations. Okay, next thing that we are given is this last statement that two units were purchased of 10, 40 and 60. So we can have only two, two chocolates of these type. Now, if you see this, if you see this, uh, there are two, already two chocolates purchased of 10 rupees, right? So uh, you cannot buy any of those 40 and 60 one each is purchased okay so we can only buy one more of 40 one more of 60 all right so uh, that is that is now uh, the next thing that we need to do is that uh, we need to assign for these people okay so let us make the combinations that are possible so if we look at uh, two, 200 Okay, so this person does not spend 140, that is given to us. Lake did not buy the costliest one. Okay, now uh, if we have to make 200, let us start with 120. Okay, 120, 
uh, then if we put 10 is 10 we cannot use 120 60 20 is possible that will make 200 so 120 60 20 okay another possibility that we can think of is uh, 120 70 is not possible with this so let us go with 110 110 and 70 20 that is possibility 110 70 and 20 that makes 200 and then if we look at other possibilities not possible from 110 90 if we see 90 70 160 90 70 40 see we cannot rule out these 60s and 40s right we will have one more 60 and 40 so we do not know who will have that okay uh, now let us for say for Uday, we need to uh, have uh, 150 is already spent we need to spend 250 in 3 okay so uh, if we see this 250 now if we say about 250 so that is uh, the three people that we need to assign 250 so let us start with uh, 140 is already done so you cannot purchase of 140 so we will look from 120 120 110 230 plus 20 so one possibility is 120 110 and 20 okay next possibility that we can make is 120 90 that is 210 and 40 120 90 40 okay and then 120 70 is 190 and 60 250 so that is another possibility all right so this is also possible uh if we say from 110 110 plus 90 200 we cannot make 50 180 we cannot make 250 okay similarly 96 70 160 so we cannot make 250 uh, from other uh, combinations okay then we have one more person who is moksha so moksha we need to assign 190 rupees for three chocolates okay 110 is already done for remaining three we need 190 okay so moksha has already purchased 110 let us start with the highest one so if he has 140 140 uh, we cannot make 190 out of it 140 plus 20 is 160 we do not have 30 okay so we cannot make anything of this if we see 120 we have to spend 70 more uh, 20 not possible 40 not possible so we cannot take with 120 also right the combinations to make 190 10 we cannot use we have already used that okay then if we go to uh, 110 is already used so 90 70 is 160 not possible 90 60 40 do we look a possibility 90 60 40 yes 90 60 40 is a possibility okay uh then if we check 90 40 okay we've already used that 90 20 is not possible 70 60 is 130 we need 60 again that is not possible 70 40 we need a higher value which is not possible so for moksha we get only one case so we shall use this so moksha purchased of 90 60 and 40. now see this we are given that 40 and 60 can be utilized only twice sahil has already used them and moksha has also used them right we have in fact one question also that the two people purchasing the chocolate that cost rupees 60 are so moksha and sahil are the people okay all right so 40 and 60 cannot be used now and we can remove all these cases like 60 is being used 40 is being used so Uday will spend 120 110 and 20 okay 40 is used 60 is used so we will have lake spending 110 70 and 20 rupees okay now we cannot use these three values rest can be used now we'll come to these two people, Ishmeet and Tej. Now they are spending, uh, amount spent by each of them is less than 300. Okay, so if we take the minimum possible values over there, 20, 70 is 90, 180, 290. Okay, if we take, let us say, 120, so this becomes 90, 180, 300. It should be less than 300. So the only possibility we can have for both of them is 20, 70, 90 and 110 okay so that is the possibility that we will get so this completes the allotment of these chocolates to these people okay now let us look at the questions the cost of one of the chocolates purchased by lake is so lake purchased a 20 rupees chocolate he did not purchase 40 or 60 how much did Tej spend on buying chocolates Tej spent 290 rupees 
How many friends purchased the chocolate that cost 110? Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 people purchasing the chocolate that was of 110. And this we have already answered, 2 people purchasing uh, 60 rupee chocolates that are Moksha and Sahil. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.